Sorry, I don't know what I did there. A negative divided by a negative gives you a positive. So you get 2 divided by 3x, but 15 and negative 3 do divide evenly, and that gives me negative 5. Okay, so that was solving for y. So now we're going to put this in the calculator. Go to y equals. Alpha y equals, that gives me the fraction, n over d. 2 divided by 3 x, subtract 5, and when you go to your t-chart, hit second graph. Okay, so the fact that my slope was a fraction definitely is why I have fractions in my calculator. You might have decimals in yours. Ignore them. Pick the nice values. So I'm going to go with negative 3, negative 7, 0, negative 5, and 3, negative 3. So those are the three values that I'm going to use. So then, I've got to plot them. Negative 3, negative 7, 0, negative 5, and 3, negative 3. So now, we have to make some notes for ourselves. It is not underlined, so it's going to be a dashed line and it's a greater than. This direction is greater than so that means I'm going to shade up. Okay, so here's my beautiful dashed line. Don't forget to label Mrs. Ludwig. And now I'm going to take my daughter's crayons. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting at her desk right now. Shading up. You literally shade up. Here's a line. Touch the line and shade up. So that's this direction. Maybe I'll color it in a little nicer. Got my crayon here. It's like I'm using the smart board. Not at all. All right. So that is shading when it's greater than. If this had a line underneath it, that would have been an equal to, and I would have made a solid line. Remember that. Okay. So the next one after this question is going to be number four, which is absolute value. The absolute value of x plus three, subtract two. So go to y equals, clear it out. I like hitting second and then zero. And then abs is your choice. And you're going to type in x plus 3. Hit the right arrow to get out of there and subtract 2. And then you go to your t chart. Or let's look at it because it's just so pretty. Hit the zoom button and then choice 6. Zoom choice six. That's what it's going to look like. So when you graph it out, you want it to be a V. Remember, it's absolute value. They graph Vs. So we got to go to our T chart. And this is the type of T chart that you look for when the Ys have the pattern. So I don't see a pattern here because those are negatives and those are positives. So I'm going to scroll down and I don't see it. Nope, I don't see it. So I'm going to go back up. I don't see any repeating y values, like a pattern or anything. Oh, look, I should have stayed there. Check it out. 1, 1, 0, 0, negative 1, negative 1, 2. So my t-chart, I'll just literally grab this whole thing, is going to be from x, e hello. From x equals negative 6 all the way to 0. And then the y values I'm going to write down are 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. And I don't know if you remember, but the middle of the t-chart turns out to be the middle of the graph. And that's your turning point or your vertex, TP. And then you plot the points out. So when you graph absolute value, you want to make sure 
that the Y column has the pattern. And just like me, you're going to have to scroll up and down, make sure that you can find it. It's not going to just pop up on the screen. So let's plot these points, negative 6, 1. That was a really big value, huh? Negative 5, 0. Negative 4, negative 1. Negative 3, negative 2. Negative 2, negative 1. Negative 1, 0, and 0, 1. So look at me. Look how pretty. Make sure you label it, too. It Mine... My beautiful graph looks exactly like this one. So that's the check method, everyone. Make sure you hit zoom six, and that will bring you to a nice standard window. Okay. Um, here's the problem. All you need is that. There's really no work to be done for any for the absolute values. They'll always be given to you as y equals. Okay, so now the next one I want to do is number 7. x is greater than negative 2. So unfortunately, our calculator only has y equals, right? Do you guys remember this is the only kind that can't be graphed? This is the only kind that you're going to have to remember that if it's an X and a number, that is the only thing X is allowed to be. So we put as many as you want of those. Me and Miss Mulligan usually put like three to five of them. And then any number you want here. So, yep, remember we did one, two, three. And now I like to make the notes. This does not have the line under it, so it's going to be a dashed line. And it's greater than, so you're going to shade... So let's plot the points. Negative 2, 1, negative 2, 2, and negative 2, 3. Okay, we have to make a dashed line, dashed, dotted. I think last time I called it dotted, didn't I? Oopsies. Label it. Look at me, I'm not forgetting to label. Woohoo. And then the shading that I wrote down doesn't make sense. It said shade up. I said shade up. Guys, I have a vertical line. I can't shade above this line. This up business doesn't really apply for when it's an X, blah, 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 blah. If it were Y, it would make total sense. So think about it. Any value of X has to be greater than negative 2. Which way, the left or the right, are the X values going to be getting bigger? And you are correct. They're getting bigger to the right. So this whole area, anything to the right of my beautifully dashed dotted line, is greater than negative 2. Okay. And last but not least, I wanted to do another graphing one with you. Okay. So why won't it focus? Okay, x plus y is greater than or equal to 0. So we want to get this equation equal to y. So we got to bring x to the other side. So to do that, I'm going to subtract x. And this is a very small inequality. The y's are greater than or equal to negative x. So in your calculator, you just type in negative x. And this is the one that you use. Negative x. If you want to see what it's going to look like, go to zoom 6. It is a vertical line, up, oh, hello, a diagonal line with a negative slope that goes through the origin, the 0, 0. So let's get the points. Use any points you want. Two points make a line, but me and Miss Mulligan prefer like 3 to 4. So I'm going to pick easy ones to graph. How about negative 2, 2, 0, 0, and 2, negative 2. I don't know. I felt like doing 2s. So let's make ourselves some notes. It has the equal to, the um, solid line underneath it. So that means the line is going to be solid. And yet again, this one's going to be shading up. 
If it were less than, then you would be shading down. So let's plot our points. And it's allowed to be solid. And label. Okay, we're shading up. Here's the line. And we literally shade up. Okay, that's not so pretty, so bear with me. I just want to make it prettier. Go the whole length of the line. And that's it. Thank you, Crayola, for the help um, using my plum crayon. That's it. That's all I wanted to accomplish with you today. Um, we are done with the review material. Like I said, we'll be moving on to new material. At any point, you need to pause the video and go back. You let me know. If you have any questions, please, we're getting through this together. Let me know if I can be of any help in any way. Miss you so, so much. Take care, everybody. Bye.